It's got almost a bit of a, I thought, George Saunders, Lincoln in the bardo mm. vibe. You don't quite know what you're reading. It's quite unsettling. It's very bureaucratic, this afterlife. It's quite hierarchical. There are people who are seemingly there to help him. There are people who are seemingly there to drag him into something that he might not want to be dragged into. He's got his own agenda. He's trying to figure out what's happened. And so for a lot of it, initially, with him, you're just finding your feet. And it's written in the second person. You do this. You think that. You go here. Which I can find off-putting. But I thought he handled it really, really well. I have to say... I found this book quite hard to get into. There's a lot of violence initially, particularly against innocents, you know, children and animals, and it's just hard to read. And it's set in the bloodiest period of the Sri Lankan Civil War. And, you know, it it just felt a bit gruelling at times. It just wasn't something that I wanted to curl up with in bed at night. But I did stick with it. Phil, how did you feel about Marley and his afterlife? Well, Proviso is, I did not finish. I'm halfway through this. But how did I feel about it? I think this book is astonishing. It is not something you want to curl up with in bed. That is very true. It's not really before sleep reading, but it's so ambitious and adventurous and just rich with history and characters and sense and grotesqueries. And I I, I think it's amazing. I very much struggle with the second person in general. I don't think that added anything to this novel. I was just sort of translating it as you read that opening bit. I think if that had all been swapped into third person, nothing would have been lost in my mind. It is quite long. I did stick with it. And I did, little by little, get drawn in. And I fell a little bit in love with the main character, which I think you kind of need to happen. And I was just in. And I was so absorbed. This book has twists and turns that have me on the edge of my seat. He's written other things, but he's also a screenwriter. And I think you can really tell. I thought he handled the pacing of it beautifully and the narrative tension and the reveals were great. Like at one moment, I really was like, <gasps> because I mean, I'm a bit hopeless like this. I never see things coming, but I was really like, oh, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> and I loved that about it. And I loved the, as you say, Phil, the ambition of it. I feel like he's telling this story that's on one level a thriller you know there's this secret at the heart of it he's taken these photographs and everyone is trying to find them and get the negatives because there's something that he has shot that is going to reveal something incriminating about someone and if it were widely known if it was publicly known it could actually bring down the regime that's in power and so there is this real tension and drama about how we're going to find these things but there are also really beautiful things about his friendships and interpersonal things that I thought he handled really really well I love this character who's a bit of a chancer you don't really admire him much he's not a very laudable figure in lots of ways but he seemed very human to me and very real and I love that and ultimately it just had a scope and a resonance it's about the inequality of the world and what it means to live with that. And I thought there was a kind of cynicism to it that I thought is just the only true response. What else can you have, especially if you've lived through something like that? I pulled out this quote. He says, laws are written by men, Marley says at one point, who don't mind bad things happening to people who aren't them. And his partner, Dee Dee, responds, people have always suffered. You can legislate against it, reduce it at a macro level, but you will never eliminate it. The best you can hope for is that that bad stuff doesn't happen to anyone you know. And this book really plays with that question. You know, bad stuff is happening. Awful people are doing horrible things. And everyone's defense is to just hope it doesn't happen to them. Hope it doesn't happen to anyone. And I just thought, I felt so, you know, talk about feeling seen. I don't know. It just really made me question my own security and the fact that I haven't ever been confronted with anything like that. And I loved the way it did all that. You know, it really made me search my soul and ask some difficult questions of me and of society in general at the same time as being this rip roaring thriller roller coaster ride. I love this book. I thought it was so good. I absolutely loved it. It's clearly a book that has captured the attention of people and the excitement of people. But it is long and you end up really savouring it. That's what I loved as well. It was one of those books that I didn't want to end. And I love the fact that just when you think it has all drawn to a conclusion he gives you this kind of epilogue where you just get a bit more and I just love it so much when authors know to do that you know (laughs) Tolstoy knew you know this is you have it here as well 
this is the one that I really, really hope people read. It's quite a difficult book in lots of ways, but I just loved it. I absolutely loved it. <laughs>